Hey YouTube, this is KP with KP Details. Today we are going to be working on my van. I bought a mobile or I bought a, bought a 2021 Promaster City. I have to do my mobile detailing and I am in the process of setting it up so that I am self-sufficient when I'm out and about. The, the, uh, the goal of today is to put up a shelf so that I can get my vac reel in. And right now, what I currently have in here is the water reel on my left. It's a hundred foot. It's a easy THP 100. And then on the right hand side, what you're looking at is another easy THP 350, I believe is that one for the air. So the reels only come with the hose. That's you have to get all the fittings. So you have to get from a quarter inch NPT or three eighths inch NPT, depending on the size hose that you use to whatever the fittings are that's going to your pressure washer, air compressor, um, everything. So just keep that in mind if you purchase these. So this is the shelving that I built around it before I put the these coils in. And that's what I'm going to use in order to actually put my vac reel on. So there are a couple of other things that are already installed permanently in the van. This is a Westinghouse iGen 4500. So it's an inverter generator and it's on a refrigerator pullout tray for an RV. And I have it strapped down, so it's not going anywhere. Um, this, this tray specifically can go out 200% out of the van. I have to do a little bit more bracing on there because I'm getting some play in it. And by the way, this is just the way that I'm building my van. Um, I am not an engineer. This has not been stress tested. So please don't, you can get ideas, but I am I'm, I'm no liability on my part. So we have the water tank that's in here that was strapped down. It's going to have to, it had to come out for me to do all the reels and whatnot. And there is the vacuum reel. All right. So how are we going to start this out? Um, I used plywood. I'm using a three quarter inch plywood. What I was able to find out on the internet because I was having a little bit of issue on something else that I was cutting before was I was getting some jagged edges and they said just cut very slowly. So this is actually sped up 400%. One side is a little bit over 24 inches so I had to use the longer side for that. And then the, I don't remember the dimension on the other side, but um, cut it slowly was what the big thing, the big takeaway that I got from there measured it out and was good to go. So now that I know that the ply would fit on top of the vertical framing members that I had, it was time to figure out where I was gonna put this Cox reel. There were two methods that I was thinking of. I could either use a, um, a cardboard template or I could physically use the reel and I decided to physically use the reel. So I centered it on the plywood, sorry about the finger, as holding it in my non, holding the camera in my non-dominant hand, and marked out all of the areas that you can see here. So you see, I marked the center on the uh, vertically and horizontally, and that's how I'm going to determine where I'm going to drill. I started out here. You can see my four four uh, marks. Started out with a um, a thinner drill bit, like a quarter inch, and then went up to, it's actually probably less than a quarter inch, and then went up to three eighths inch, just to see if I could keep it just a little bit neater, cleaner, my, uh, my holes. Didn't really work, but hey, it was an idea. Then I went ahead and I did some measurements, and that was the 90 degree bracket that I was using on the vertical framing members in order to, that, to act as a shelf for the shelving. Started again with the smaller bit and then made my way up to the 3 8 inch, which is the largest bit that I had in my arsenal. Once I was done with that, I am using the same spring nuts and bolts that I used to do the Unistrut exoskeleton in my van. And so the, this one though is an inch and a half for those bolts. 
because in the van I'm only using a one inch I don't need an inch and a half and um, just based on the the size of the actual unistrut that I'm using so I've got a inch and a half unistrut I've got my spring nuts that go along with that and in the top of each I had two inch and a half um, going through my three quarter inch plywood and felt pretty darn secure so I was really happy about that so of course once I get these front ones in I'm gonna have to go around to the back of the van get the other two four six eight or uh, the four in the back and then I had four in the front trying to keep this as square as possible so I am going to after I was done I had someone take a look at this and uh, they told me that I should probably still stiffen up the frame a little bit because it's got a little bit of play in it in order to actually tighten the reel onto this now uh, you saw that I had to pull out the vacuum hose and that's because I a, you can't get a drill in there it's just too too, too small of a space so using uh, my socket set um, hand tightening and still same thing I could use the inch and a half by um, the inch and a half with the spring nuts here we have our finished product that's the part of the hose that's going to go to the my vacuum cleaner there's the plywood that's installed two bolts on top and the vac, vac reel is secure on top does need a little bit more stiffening up I will do that at a later date but for now this will do thank you so much for joining me on today's van build I hope you enjoyed this content I will have some more as I continue to build out the van and uh, of course some car wash videos please remember to subscribe like comment and share links for items I used will be in the description